Molecular gastronomy is one of the hottest trends in cuisine around the world today. This is molecular gastronomy. And what chefs do is not molecular gastronomy, it's molecular cooking. Uh, this. Uh, I define molecular gastronomy, I know what it is. Whip. Hervé Thies is a molecular gastronomist. In fact, he coined the term molecular gastronomy. Why is molecular gastronomy important? Science produces knowledge. And knowledge is what makes us different from animals. So science is important because we are not animals. <laughs> My name is Louisa Chu, and I'm a chef and a food writer. Back in 1988, French chemist Hervé Thies coined the phrase molecular gastronomy founding a culinary field devoted to the science of deliciousness. His research has led to methods allowing modern chefs to foam, gel, and liquefy food into new and more flavorful creations. Thies also has a bit of an obsession with the chemistry behind the history of cooking. Oh, there it is. By lab testing techniques from old cookbooks, 19th century cooking traditions, and even old wives' tales, Thies sets out to explain the science behind the art of cooking. Hervé works a lot with chefs. Though what they do is different, it's related. Chefs like Christelle Legendre use the knowledge um, of the science of molecular gastronomy that Hervé Thies explores and applies them in her kitchen to create new dishes. Mm. These sablés are a very traditional French cookie. And the dish that Christelle is assembling right now is something that actually started in Hervé's lab. So we make a, a dough, flour, and water. So what this experiment is actually going to show is how using torrified or roasted flour produces a more perfect sablé. And this yellow part is called the gluten, the white powder is called starch. This is kind of a, a simple way to see the two components that flour is made of. In a sablé, we don't want the gluten active. We don't want all of the proteins coagulating it into a solid, crispy piece. What we want in a sablé is something that's going to hold together, but in the mouth, fall apart and crumble. I'm not even sure that I love cooking. I'm not even sure that I love eating. I don't understand why people are not chemists. All of them. The other solution to get a better sablé, you just torrefy it. Mm -hmm. Now Hervé is heating just flour alone without any fat, which is torrefying it, browning it. Roasted. It roasts it to a point where it destroys the gluten. They know that chef can do something with that. And they do. Let's go. All right, great. I'd love to see it. So this is a finished product, just a very golden version of a classic French sablé. And the aroma, again, you smell the very toasty aroma in there. Mm, very compact, but it just falls apart. Mm, and you get that toasty butteriness in the cookie. What this next experiment is going to show is testing the culinary theory behind when you take a sauce and you monte au beurre, which means you mount it with butter and you just shake the pan to emulsify the butter into the sauce. Because then that way it'll taste more of the wine rather than tasting the butter. What Hervé is doing is he's mimicking the components of a wine sauce using water, fat, salt, and gelatin. Okay, and now we just whip. Okay, stop. If you have a sauce like this, whip, Right. You perceive a lot of flavor from the batter, not from the wine. Because in the whisk sauce, you'll get more contact of the fat droplets on your tongue, on your palate, you'll taste more of the butter than you will actually the wine. As a cook, I would not be proud to serve it. <laughs> okay, and now we just shake. I'm not sure that I'm a very good shaker, but... Uh... <laughs> You see how different this is? What we're looking at on the monitor is what a wine sauce would look like if we were to simply shake the pan to incorporate the butter. We can see the size of the fat droplets, the taste more of the wine in the wine sauce, which is what you want more rather than tasting the butter. I was asking Christelle what was the most important thing that Hervé's explained to her about cooking. And she was saying that um, molecular gastronomy is really important in just about every aspect of cuisine. It's really opened her spirit. It's really helped her develop her imagination. 
There are kitchens like this now all over the world where chefs are seeking the knowledge that will perfect their dishes. Cooking is not technique, is not art, it's primarily love. I have in front of mine 70 million French people. I want to change their way of cooking.